Yes then my peeps, how are we all doing? Hope everyone's okay, again with another painting video. So slight disclaimer, doing something a little bit against the norm with this one and I'm not going to be showing you the finished piece. More so just talking about the process, talking about what goes through my mind a little bit and the importance of self-critique. So starting this artwork, there are a few things to note. So firstly I updated my camera during my second stream. All of this footage is captured off of my Twitch whilst I was live streaming. So you will see a bit of change within the quality of the image displayed. But again, I digress. This isn't about the finished piece. This is more about the process. And again, I didn't want to be one of those standard YouTube or Instagram artists that just show you the finished piece and don't talk anything about the process because the process for me is the most important part. Getting that muscle memory in, thinking about all the different elements of tone, shape, line, form, and all that crazy stuff, you know? So again, <sighs> The importance of self-critique for me is up there with the most because a lot of the time I get, oh this image is nice, or your painting looks good, or I don't like this, which you know is feedback and all feedback is relevant but I don't get that importance in depth, what could be changed, how can it be made better. So starting off with all my images I always like to do the most difficult areas first. So I started off with the eyes, the nose and the mouth. I then went to kind of fill in the background. Then I started to kind of fill the rest of the face in. And for me, this is just the steps of my journey in terms of starting a piece to finishing a piece. I go through all these different emotional angles while I'm doing it, painting over two different sessions. I've spent about four or so hours on this piece already at this point, planning it out. I started using one of my old pieces that I'd done when I first started out in oil painting as a reference but the trouble is the reference is so blown out there's no shadows there's no clear light angle there's no form a few features are all over the place kind of looks like a bit of an alien which is funny because one of the uh, one of the commenters on the stream turned around and said that it looked like a bit of a blue alien at some point in the uh, in the stream which I thought was quite funny as well a little bit of a cross between mystique one of the x-men and a classic oil painting not the best I have to say it just kind of sums up where I was kind of at with the piece at the time, you know. I was putting myself out there. To put your art out there into the public eye, especially doing a live stream, I was making myself really vulnerable. Moving forward, I have to kind of ask myself whether this is what I want to do, if I'm mentally in a space where I can do this. Because this is the most important thing, is that connection between yourself and the work. To be able to critique your work in a positive light, to be able to see the negatives, and correct and improve upon them. This can be very difficult at times, I know. Using kind of anthropological studies of myself, I have to look at myself, try and realize where I am in that headspace as well, if I'm able to do these kind of things. This isn't about showing you a finished artwork, showing you the finished piece. I mean, I will be showing the finished piece on my Instagram. And if you want to see a little short clip, you can always let me know down in the comments of this YouTube video. But it's all about growth, you know, like with my streaming, with my Twitch, with my YouTube, I'm learning all these systems, I'm learning how to create, I'm learning how to express myself in different ways, put myself out there on the public, which is a big thing for a lot of people. For me, it takes a lot to kind of get myself in that headspace where I'm able to do that. I don't te genuinely, genuinely, is that even a word? I don't know. But I don't tend to post all the time, I don't tend to post every minute of every day kind of thing, stuff about my life, all that jazz, more so just keeping it about the work. I just wanted to kind of get across a little bit about the thought process that I go through as I'm starting a piece and as I'm going to it. There are all these different emotions that come through and putting yourself out there, it's a really brave thing and like I said, I don't put myself in those situations where I get very vulnerable that often. Anyway, if you like the content, please give us a like, give us a sub, see when the next one's coming out because you never know what it's going to be, whether it's going to be gaming or art. My whole channel, JCV Studios, is based upon just my my creative life. I am going to be posting a mixture of things with my art, different projects, as well as my gaming and my streaming. So you can catch me on Twitch as well, also all JCV underscore studios. Once again, hope you enjoy. Take it easy, peeps.
And once again, I just want to thank everyone for all the support. If you like the content, give us a sub. You can catch us on Twitch, weekdays, jcv underscore studios. And I'll catch you in the next one, peeps. Peace.